Hello guys and welcome back to another class of our course about the complete introduction to marketing with Instagram. So in the past few classes we talked about many topics. So we talked about uh, creating your Instagram account, we talked about different ways that you guys can promote your Instagram account, we talked about uh, how basically you can create posts, uh, how should be your posts when you create posts and some other things that are pretty important and useful for your Instagram marketing. And uh, what I want to do today is really talking about uh, transforming your followers into consumers. And uh, I want to also check out some accounts by the end of this course. So basically, we're going to talk about some sport accounts and uh, simply check them out and review them as well. So let's start. All right. So basically, when you guys want to transform your uh, followers into buyers or your followers into consumers, um, you need to have an account that is pretty much on point. So it all starts with the bio. So first thing you want to start with basically the bio of your account. And uh, when we're talking about the bio, basically you guys should know why, why the bio is used. So basically the bio is really useful. Um, first of all, to describe your business. So you need to have a bio that describes your business. Um, also, you can use it, for example, to, for example, you can use it, for example, to like, for example, write down a point or whatever you want to do. Um, so what I'm saying, what I'm talking about writing down a point, a good example would be, for example, will be um, Adidas or Nike. When you go on their page, um, they have uh, some slogans right there. So we can check them out uh, right away. So pretty simple. We'll go here and here we go. So for example, when we're looking at Adidas, what exactly we can find? So it's right, it's written right there. It's written true sport. We have the power to change lives. So it's something that is appealing. So by reading this, you are basically interested by the product and you want to check it out. So as you can see, this is a good example. And here you have the link to the store. So once again, this is something that is uh, pretty cool. Um, all right. So next leaving a link to your website uh, store so this is exactly what uh, we just saw um, leaving a link to your store or leaving a link to a certain product that is your let's say your featured product or your product of the week uh, could be a good way for the people that are checking out your profile uh, to click on the link and check out a little bit more finding out your products and all this stuff um, uh, also leaving links for people to write call as well as other things. So basically, um, we saw it on the mobile version. Let's say someone wants to call your business. Someone wants to write down an email to your business. You can leave, leave uh, some links on uh, your Instagram profile where people will be able to contact you directly. So you should use those buttons uh, to allow your followers uh, to contact you if they have any questions and usually people who have questions are pretty interested by your product and there is way more uh, chances that they purchase a product than people who are just uh, for example looking at your page all right um second thing you want to personalize your profile so when i'm talking about personalizing your profile you want to have personalized uh, posts and uh, what I'm talking about personalized posts is really your own style. So we talked about it in the past few classes. So in the past uh, classes, um, so really having personalized posts mean having a post that is uh, really your style. So if uh, we check out, for example, once again, Adidas right now, because it's a brand that I like a lot. And basically, I really love their Instagram. Um, when we check their brand, as you can see what we can find. Uh, we can find a lot of, uh, in this case, uh, well, we can find a lot of uh, different interesting things. So as you can see, pictures, uh, they have a lot of slogans and the interesting things. For example, this is a movement for our heroes. There is, for example, no racism, Black Lives Matters. And the way that uh, the pictures are presented is always, uh, well, is really, really, in my opinion, interesting. So this is one of uh, the few Adidas pages. We can check out some other... Uh, pages that they have so here we go at das original uh here we go we have another page so it works pretty much uh, the same way so feel the z sense there is uh, here we have the store here we have uh, the way it's presented so they show shoes uh they show they have a certain style so basically the way they present their product has a certain style and it's uh well pretty interesting the way it's presented i like it a lot because it's really really personalized and that uh, it's really it's a certain way for the brand to present their product. So this is exactly what you guys should do. So for example, if we're looking for a traveling page, um, it's gonna be presented in a certain way. If we look for more vintage products, it's gonna be presented in a certain way. 
Um, so basically it's the same thing for you guys. So let's say we take out this product right here. So the way the description is written, it's basically, it's not the same as uh, Nike is writing down their description. So yes, they have some, they have uh, the same template basically, but it's not the same way it's described. It's not the same way the product is presented. So here, for example, they have uh, this type of product. They have this type of uh, people who are presenting the product. And when you check out Nike, it's a little bit more different the way it's presented, the style that it's presented. So this is why uh, we'll, this is why what will differentiate differentiate you uh, from your competition. Basically, the way you present your product and the, the way that your account is uh, presented. So really personalizing your profile um, for your ideal consumer. Finally, creating posts and ads for your specific audience. So basically, it's really important for you guys to understand who exactly is your specific audience. And your ads should be around this specific audience. So basically, what I said in the past point applies uh, here as well. So you want to present your post for a specific audience. And when writing a description of your post, you want to adapt it to your specific audience. Um, what does this mean? So you, let's say, for example, your audience is uh, from 19 to 25. Once again, it's just an example. So the way you will present to them will not be the same way that you will present for people who are aged between 40 and 45. Um, so basically, you will use different pictures. You will use different models. So basically, your models will be younger for the younger generation because you want them to feel that uh, they look like those younger models because your audience is younger. So it's pretty normal that you will use a younger audience. Let's say, for example, you sell, um, I don't know, kids toys. You will not uh, show a 30 years old pl person playing with those toys. You will show a kid playing with those toys. So it goes uh, the same way, for example, for clothing or any other thing that you guys want to promote. Um, so really important using posts that are targeted to your uh, audience. So let's say your audience is uh, from, I don't know, a... Uh, from Middle East, for example, you want to have a Middle Eastern model, or if you have a traveling, for example, well, a traveling agency, or you have a traveling, uh, let's say, an account paid, an account that is uh, focused on traveling, you can show, for example, uh, Middle Eastern uh, traveling places. Once again, this is just an example. If, uh, if your consumers are from, I don't know, more Latin Americans, so basically you will show them products that are more appealing for this uh, type of audience and uh, really adapt your pictures to this type of audience. So this audience feels that uh, they, will, they will be more interested by that product. So yeah, basically three things that I said. Uh, first thing, work on your bio. So you want to have a bio that describes pretty well your account and uh, basically... You can take example of uh, things such as Adidas, in my opinion, there are a pretty good example. So they just have a uh, phrase that they use uh, to describe their business. What I'll suggest you is maybe adding a little bit more. So you want to, since you're a new account, you want to add a little bit more in your description so people get to know you a little bit more better. Always use a link. Um, uh, for your posts, you want to be sure to adapt them to your targeted audience once again and the way you will and really keep them personalized. So if you want to have a more retro uh, business or a more retro Instagram account, have it more retro. So basically, don't try to copy no one or do the same thing as someone else. You really want to be personalized. And finally, all your posts or ads should be targeted to a certain audience. So first of all, you should know who is your targeted audience. And uh, once you know them, you should understand what type of things they're like, what, what is their type of ads, and then you will be able to target them the right way. And this is exactly the way that you guys will be able to turn your consumer, well, not your consumers, but your followers into consumers. And you will see you will have a pretty much better return on investments if you invest on ads and a pretty higher conversion rate from that specific population that you guys are targeting. Um, if you really create ads that are specific for them. So that's it for us, guys, guys. And see you all in our next class.